What's going on everyone? Mike back with a mail day recap. Got a variety of mail that's come in in the last week, two, or three. Uh, a bunch of different stuff. Several care packages from generous members of the YouTube community. A group break result. A purchase from Phil's Pulls. We got a pre-war pickup for the Phillies PC, so that's super sweet. Large variety of stuff, and I'm excited to get into it. So, we've got a bunch of stuff here. I'm just going to get started right away. We'll start with a care package coming in from Aaron P., Florida card guy. Thank you so much. Appreciate the very kind letter. Definitely very awesome. And some nice adds to the Phillies collection, which I appreciate. So, here's a sweet Ryan Howard from 2005, Tops Upper Class. And with this time off from live baseball and live sports, it's really given an opportunity to check out a ton of old games, uh, highlights, just kind of reflect on the past and all the memories we've had. And obviously the Phillies had a great run in the mid to late 2000s and uh, 2008 being that pinnacle. And this guy was a big piece of it, Ryan Howard. He had a incredible career. Obviously eventually injuries and age caught up with him, but he had some just dynamic seasons. So Awesome. Here's another guy, member of the 08 Phils, Pat Burrell. Nice jersey card from Upper Deck. We've got a bat game used relic card from Fleer, Splendid Splinters. Another Pat Burrell. So always appreciate the 08 guys. It's just been it's been awesome to go back and watch old games and you know it's just great. You it's amazing. Some of them are 10, 15, 20 years old, and you just remember them like they're yesterday. Here's a 2005 Tops Ryan Howard Cole Hamels prospect card. I'd say that worked out well. Two very good prospects helped result in a World Series championship. And uh, two guys that will eventually, more than likely, end up on the Phillies Wall of Fame. So that's cool. PSA Mint 9, so great for the slabbed Phillies PC. It's a card I have in my Ultimate Tops team set binder. But obviously did not have slabbed, and I appreciate having that slab. So, Aaron, thank you so much for those. Got a little package in here from Michael Ivy. So, Michael is very generous in the community, always watching stuff, sharing videos, and sending out stuff. So, he hit me up with this sweet Aaron Nola, King of Wands, from Gypsy Queen, which I did not end up ever getting a chance to open any. Uh, this product is skyrocketed in price quite a bit. I think you could get them for like 85 Now they're like 130 140 a box. And never picked up any retail. But very cool. Love the uh, rounded corners. Definitely adds to it. Hooked me up with a few other tops cards. So I appreciate that, Michael. We got Hitman23. This one came in a couple weeks ago and did not get to it. So Mike, once again... Thank you. And he's just hooking me up with some childhood favorites, which is uh, awesome. It's really fun to reflect on them. I'm a big Terry Mulholland fan, and Mike knows it, so I appreciate that. Back August 15th, 1990, Mulholland threw a no-hitter against the San Francisco Giants. I was in attendance. Definitely uh, a memory I'll cherish forever. Love the Fleer Ultra. And speaking of old games I was talking about, I actually uh, watched that in the last week or so, the broadcast on Prism, Mike Schmidt was one of the announcers that day. So, definitely great to reflect on that. Gary Carter making the last out in a line drive to Charlie Hayes. So, some sweet Terry Mulhollands. And 89 tops. One of my uh, all-time favorite sets. The, really, the first set I ever collected. That's what got me into cards. Love the photo there. And honestly, it really does look like that is at Veteran Stadium, believe it or not. Here's 93 Upper Deck, one of the best-looking sets of all time. Just unbelievable color. These cards are great for autographs, so that's awesome. And 95 Tops with the Yankees, Terry Mulholland. So, Mike, appreciate those Terry Mulhollands. A couple of them will definitely need to go into the binder. And then he hooked me up with... Some Drew Bledsoe's, another childhood favorite. And this card, one of my all-time favorite Bledsoe cards. I remember back when it came out out of SPX, or Upper Deck SP, I should say. Um, 
pretty tough to pull and I have a few of these I would actually I can't remember if I bought one of these graded or not at one point but it would definitely be cool upper deck the retro uniform from stadium club hollow and uh, new Tampa Bay Buccaneer Rob Gronkowski so hitman 23 appreciate it a great deal thank you very much Here's a D.D. Gregorius from the Topps Living Set. So I showed off one of these recently. I sent one of these off to SGC for grading. As a Phillies collector, I try and grade one of all of the Topps Living Set Phillies cards, and then I also keep one raw. And if ever given the chance, love to get these autographed. Though some of them, like this one, is a big-time profile shot, so really hard to get a clean signature on a card like this. But either way... Always awesome. Love the living set. Would actually like to pick up more. Haven't really been purchasing them directly from Tops recently, but would certainly like to do that. Here's my big pickup. A 1909 E102 set of 25. Sherry McGee. In a PSA VG3. Absolutely beautiful card. I would like to do a little research. Is that like the first action shot in Phillies card history? I'm not sure, but this is a, a sweet card and really happy to add it to the collection. Look at some of the names on the back there because that 25 card set, Ty Cobb, pretty solid hitter right there. So that's awesome. This is uh, like anything pre-war can be kind of tough you see them come up from time to time and if you're interested sometimes you have to jump on it i looked up the pop report i think there's 16 of these total slabbed by psa obviously there's going to be additional ones by other companies including sgc which i didn't look up those pop reports but either way super happy to add an old school card to the phillies collection i haven't really been purchasing a ton of cards especially uh pricier cards but I'm happy to add this one. Sherry McGee had a really, really good career. He's one of those borderline Hall of Fame guys. I know he's been considered by some of the uh, some of the different classes with the uh, with the Hall of Fame, some of the committees, I should say. And uh, you know, during the dead ball era, he was he was definitely a star there for a number of years. If you look at his stats compared to some other guys, he's uh, a guy who certainly deserves consideration. Also, very good uh, defensive player. We'll respect it for that. And, uh, you know, he hasn't gotten there. We'll see if maybe he ever does. But uh, it's funny. His career ended in Major League Baseball at, like, age 34. So he was fairly young. And he played in the minors for years after that. He kind of, I think, uh, wore out his welcome in Major League Baseball. He did have some issues he there's a story about how he punched out an umpire one time in a disagreement knocked the guy out so uh he certainly had some issues over the years as well so that probably played a role he did eventually actually become an umpire uh, umpired a little bit in independent leagues and in the majors for a short while but passed away in his mid 40s of pneumonia if i remember right so sherry mcgee he is in the phillies wall of fame so Definitely an all-time great to have in the Phillies collection. And just any time you can pick up something old school that is fairly rare, that is uh, pretty awesome. I love the modern cards, and I love the vintage, and the pre-war is pretty special too. So I think that's the most enjoyable way, at least for me, to collect kind of all the different phases. So really happy to add that one to the collection. We've got a stack here of Gypsy Queen. Bought into a group break just to kind of grab some cards for the collection. Love the Wheel of Fortune. Harper card looks awesome. Obviously got a bunch of base. Didn't really hit anything special. No autos or anything, but got obviously a team set and then some chromes like Bryce Harper. Did hit a blue refractor of Harper, so that's pretty sweet. Real Muto's in the set. Uh, Kingery. Hazley Gregorius. So, this is kind of the selection of base cards. Nick Williams, kind of an odd choice to be included in the set, to be honest with you. He was kind of a part-time up-and-down player last year. Jake Arrieta. But, 
hey, it is what it is. They did what they did with their checklist. It's just, I mean, I like Nick Williams. He just doesn't seem to have a strong future in Philadelphia. Uh, got another really nice care package from this baseball card life. So super, super generous. I know Mike said he wasn't really looking for recognition for it, but felt like it was necessary. Uh, he opened some Topps opening day, and he sent me a bunch of Phillies cards. So it's a sweet card of Citizens Bank Park. And then some of the base cards, which Reese Hoskins, I believe, is the only one in the set. Reese Hoskins, where he wasn't featured in Top Series 1, so that one will certainly go in the team set binder. Uh, some foils. Big fan of these foils. So we got Nola and Harper. And the red foil of Hoskins. We got Real Muto. So really like them. Here's a Harper insert. Another Harper insert. Spring has sprung. And then some Mike Trouts for the Trout collection. So might even look at some of them. Some of those could potentially be slab candidates for fun. This is pretty sweet and very generous. It tops Diamond Relics. Reese Hoskins, Citizens Bank Park, Game Used Dirt. So some pieces of dirt on a Reese Hoskins card. So pretty tough pull, I'm sure. The relics are not super uh, super easy to get. I guess if you do a hobby box, maybe you get one per box. I don't know for sure, but that is a super thick card and a super generous move by this baseball card life. And then he also hooked this up. Variation 1 in 615 packs, so the photo variations are tough. And he hooked me up with the Reese Hoskins running out of the dugout. So again, one I did not have, and I really, really appreciate. So, Mike, thank you so much. You guys should check out his channel, and a channel that many probably already uh, subscribed to, because he has just lit up the uh, community. His channel has grown incredibly Phil's Pools, a.k.a. Phil Hughes, former Yankees pitcher, obviously pitched with the Twins as well. Makes card videos, does a really good job. Like I said, extremely popular. And he's been selling some uh, lots of Chrome Sapphire. So I jumped in on one of them. It's kind of a mystery pack. There are some hits. I know there's some autographs you can get, and I think there's a few decent rookies. I really uh, didn't pay attention. I just decided to do it to do it, and uh, we'll see uh, what we get. But not that Phil's ever going to see the video, but appreciate it. Appreciate the content. Sent a few Bowman packs. Looks like I did get an autograph there. Two 2019 Bowman packs. And did get an auto. It's Kevin Newman for the Pirates. So not bad. Definitely cool to get an auto. And we'll see what kind of players we get in the Sapphire. Obviously, Sapphire is super expensive. I think the 2019 boxes are around $300, 250 to $300. 2018, obviously, just out of control. I don't know if you can find anything before that. So let's see what we got. We got a White Sox team card. Commons of these can any, go anywhere from like a buck to three bucks. And then if you get stars, guys like Mike Trout, pretty pricey. I don't think Trout was included in any of them. Rookie cards. Tatis, and those guys are hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Petit. Abreu. I broke a couple of these boxes. I got uh, Eloy Jimenez. So I did all right overall. VR. Josh Bell, Sierra, Sean Doolittle, Vizcaino, Del Monaco, Gene Segura, Jose Ramirez, Jorge Alfaro. That's a cool one. I like Alfaro. I like the Rookie Cup. Nick Pavetta. I do have the full Phillies team set already. Ian Kinsler, Christian Yelich, League Leaders, Kevin Gossman. Jacoby Jones, Yon Mancada, there's a star. Harrison Bader, rookie cup. Look at that shine, though. Unbelievable. Wilmer Defoe, Jimon Choi, Taylor Ward, 
and Paul Goldschmidt. Again, beautiful card. Look at that. Looks awesome. So that was a fun little rip. There's the auto again. Kevin Newman. And then, I guess, break the two 2019 Bowman packs. See if we get anything in there. You got Dakota Hudson, Danny Jansen, Kyle Wright, Michael Gibbons, Matt Carpenter, Chrome of Cabrian Hayes, Franklin Perez, Alec Bohm, nice Alec Bohm, Jojo Romero, and Morjon. And pack number two, Michael Franco, Cody Bellinger, Miguel Cabrera, Jose Abreu, Chris Archer, Victor Victor Mesa, first Bowman, so not a bad chrome to get there. Jeter Downs, Zach Collins, Matt Mercer, and Brock Burke. So there you go. That is the mail day. Fun mail day. Got to break open a mystery pack. Got to show off some Gypsy Queen. Really nice care packages with sweet stuff for the collection. Appreciate it all. And then, of course... The 1909 E-102 set of 25, Sherry McGee. So definitely another mixed mail day. It's kind of the way I like to do it. Some products that just came out like in the last month and some products that came out well over 100 years ago. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Let me know what you think of all the pickups, all the additions to the collection. Check out all the YouTubers I mentioned. And have yourselves a great one. Be safe. Be smart. I'll talk to you next time.